Hello travelers and welcome back to another adventure from my trip on the lovely Norwegian dawn in the spring of 2023. This time we'll be visiting Castries on the island nation of St. Lucia. There are two terminals in St. Lucia's main cruise port. The Point Seraphine Cruise Terminal on the northern side of the bay and La Place Caranage Cruise Terminal in downtown Castries, which is where my ship docked for our stay. This time, I chose an NCL ship-sponsored excursion called St. Lucia Trolley Train which was a tour of downtown Castries and a stop at a local beach. When you exit the ship, you can either go left towards the terminal entrance or go right where passengers were lining up for excursions. It was really hot and there was no shade or any place to sit. My excursion trolley was already parked alongside the rear of the ship, so I only had to walk a short distance to it. There was bench seating on the trolley. It was packed very tightly with no legroom. There was no accommodation for mobility devices like scooters or even a fold-up walker. There simply wasn't enough room. It's open air, so in the afternoon heat, you can imagine how uncomfortable this might get. After waiting for clearance to leave the port area from security, we winded through the streets of downtown Castries, listening to the guide. Ladies and gents, coming across on my right side on the wall, some beautiful paintings. We do have the head of corner flower, the ginger lily flower, our iguana, the white light, iguana right on the stone. The flower armpit is the head of corner flower. On the stick is the upper sum. Our national flower is the hibiscus. Our national bird is this part right there. It's called the Amazona versicola. The red cloth ginger, the hummingbird. We also call the hummingbird, the Antillian cross. We do have the smallest hummingbird on the island. Also, if you're wondering what is the wildlife, we do have the boa constrictor. They love the color. This section of the tour was mildly amusing and informative, learning about various landmarks and the historical achievements of the island and its people. One thing I noted while driving around was the friendliness of the natives. Many of them smiled and waved at the trolley as it went past. Although at points, it seemed that we were just as much of a spectacle as the sights were. One of the highlights of the tour was a very brief stop at the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. Completed in 1835, it is the largest cathedral in the Caribbean. The interior features murals by artist Dunstan St. Omer, and it was given the honorary status of a minor basilica in 1999. The tour only allowed for 10 minutes at this stop for photos, so I decided to stay on the trolley. There was a local vendor outside the cathedral selling cold beverages, which I was grateful for. The next stop on the tour was a visit to Vigi Beach, which is promoted as a beach for locals as well as tourists. The stretch of beach that we drove by was beautiful. 
Unfortunately, the trolley kept driving past this gorgeous part of beach. And as they drove, a very nasty issue began to become apparent. In January of 2023, a septic tank at the public restroom on Vigi Beach backed up and began polluting the ground and water. The Ministry of Public Affairs in St. Lucia had just ignored the problem, and by March when I was visiting, the smell was absolutely revolting. It was quite unbearable, and as I did research for this video, I still cannot find evidence that the issue has been resolved. The trolley eventually stopped at the very end of Vigi Beach, besides a dirt lot with lots of litter and broken bottles. They tried to upsell busted lounge chairs, $5 for 30 minutes. And then we were offered homemade rum punch dispensed from a filthy Coleman cooler in these small clear plastic cups, which also littered the beach. I was looking forward to this beach excursion. I'd wanted to visit St. Lucia for years, and now I found myself sitting on a dirty beach with the smell of raw sewage wafting around. This was the most disappointing moment of my entire cruise. And that made me really sad because I wanted to love this visit. There were beach vendors, some nice, others not so nice. At times I felt extremely uncomfortable, especially as a solo cruiser. I wish there was something positive I could say about this experience, but I can't in good faith lie about it. I had an awful experience at Vigi Beach and I would recommend staying at an all-inclusive on a different part of the island. The ride back to the ship was marred by the news that one of our fellow ship passengers had died on a snorkeling excursion. Several Facebook groups were updated in real time with other people's horror stories as they explored Castries. After that point, a dark cloud was hovering over the whole experience. Everyone was ready to get back on the ship as the trolley dropped us off at the terminal. There are quite a few shops in the terminal, and though I wasn't interested in shopping at that moment, some travelers might definitely enjoy a browse around the terminal area. Once back aboard the ship, as we sailed away, I wondered if I might ever return to Castries. If I ever have an opportunity to in the future, I might give it another chance, but for now, I couldn't recommend it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment. Let me know if you've been to Castries or are planning to go. And please consider subscribing to my channel to help me grow and create more content. See you soon.